What's up guys, TG back here with another Animal Kingdom video recapping Season 5, Episode 4. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy, and let's get into the episode. The episode starts off with Darren enjoying his morning by surfing. When he's done, he's approached by the agent that has been after Adrian and now him. He mentions that someone has been giving Adrian money and that aiding a fugitive would make it easy for him to obtain a search warrant. Darren denies being the one to give him money and the agent leaves. Hope is handcuffed and is being questioned by two cops. He doesn't remember what he did or how he got there. One of the cops mentions he's Pope Cody and says that they should just bring him home, but the other one, who plays by the rules, says to take him in for a psych evaluation. Jay is at the house and Darren arrives, asking him about Pete. He then tells Jay to get dressed so he can show him the bowling alley that he's been hiding from them. They get to the bowling alley and Darren tells Jay to sell the condo and split the money with everyone. Then they go to the office and Jay shows Darren what's in the safe, including money and Smurf's legal stuff. Darren demands Jay to move the coke out of the house and put it here, and also makes Jay give him the combination to the safe. In a flashback, we see Smurf and Jake in bed together and Pope is watching from outside the door. Julia takes him away and tells him he can't be doing that. When she asks him why he was doing that, why he was just standing there and watching it, Pope doesn't answer and just walks away. Craig is walking down the street with his kid when someone races by him on an electric scooter and almost hits him. Then the second guy comes by and Craig knocks him off of it. Craig goes into a store and picks up a surfboard for Rem. Darren goes to Pete's shop and tries telling Pete to start talking to him before Jay. Pete says no and tells Darren to keep him out of any family shit going on. Hope gets up at the hospital and tries to leave but is stopped. He can't leave until the doctor signs off on the psych evaluation. Darren goes to the bar and fills Craig in on the situation with Pete and the coke. Darren mentions that Frankie can help fence stuff and at first Craig says no, but then since they need the money he agrees but only if he's the one that talks to Frankie and not Jay. Jay is at the house when the officer that wanted to let Pope go comes by looking for Darren. Since Darren isn't there, the officer tells Jay about Pope being in the hospital. Darren goes to the bowling alley and goes into the safe. He takes the cash that was in there and the information on Pamela Johnson. Pope talks to the doctor at the hospital and says that this is the second time he's woken up somewhere with total memory loss of what happened before. He mentions that Smurf died and the doctor believes that these episodes he's having are related to the trauma from losing his mother. The doctor suggests that he admits himself for another 24 hours so they could keep talking and Pope agrees. Craig leaves his kid with a sitter and goes to see Frankie. He's not happy to be dealing with her, but she says that they could work out a deal. Craig is able to get her to take 2% for moving stuff instead of the 5% that she originally agreed to with Jay. In the flashbacks, Smurf is at a party with Jake and Manny, saying that she has a job getting money from an ATM. They don't think it'll work, but Smurf has a friend who knows how to get them open without damaging the money. Jay goes to see Pope at the hospital, and Pope says that they want him to stay longer, but he doesn't want to himself, so he and Jay take off. Pope directs Jay to where he wants to be dropped off. Pope gets out of the car and starts walking into a parking lot. He walks past someone, and the person wants to know if he found her. Apparently, during Pope's episode, he told this person that he was going to go find his sister. Pope doesn't answer the question and walks off. Darren goes to Pamela Johnson's house and confronts her. She instantly knows that he's one of Smurfs, and he tells her that it's Darren. Pam walks into her house and tells Darren to grab some groceries from her car and come inside. Jay visits Pete at his shop and tells him that they can't hold on to the coke anymore. Pete mentions that Darren was around and says that he needs an additional 20% to hold on to the coke. Jay tries to bring it down to 10%, but Pete doesn't budge, so Jay has to agree. Darren talks to Pam, saying that the will belongs to the Cody's and not her. He tries saying that Smurf was likely drunk and on painkillers when she changed the will, but Pamela says that Smurf probably had a good reason. Pam says that she's willing to let the Cody's earn it all back, and then tells Darren to get out. In the flashback, Smurf, Jake, and Manny get the ATM from the bank using a truck and then set it up to blow. The plan works with the ATM blowing open, but the money staying intact. Later on, Jake and Manny say that they could travel all over, hitting more of these, but Smurf says that she has to stay put for her kid's wishes. This is what permanently lands them in Oceanside. 
Greg gets some help rounding up all of the electronic scooters, like the one that almost hit him and his kid earlier. Once they get a ton of them, they pile them up, and he gets a monster truck to drive over and crush them all. Jay is at the house with a few people over, and Pope and Darren come home. Darren talks to Jay to make sure that everything with the coke is sorted out, and Jay tells him that he took care of it. Pope then joins them and angrily tells Jay that he should not have shot Smurf, and the episode ends. I thought this was a pretty solid episode. The tension is continuing to slowly grow, especially as more of Jay's secrets are getting revealed. They are slowly building up a lot of problems, with Adrian probably being the biggest one right now, and I think that's going to start unraveling soon. I'm also really enjoying the flashbacks a lot more than I thought I would. I was never really an insane Smurf fan, but she's been really fun in these flashbacks. That's it for this video going over episode 4. I'll be back next week with the episode 5 recap, so be on the lookout for that, and thanks for watching.